Welcome to episode 5 of the Lake Farm Hill Climb. This episode is dedicated to my friend Vakaris in Lithuania who re requested it. And it's something of a bonus episode in that we'll look at two cars, not one. Oh, and there's a blooper reel. In the last two episodes, I've looked at relatively inexpensive cars you can buy early in the game. The Magia Supron and the Magia Guy Maimar. This time, we're moving from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the cheap to the eye-wateringly expensive, from the basic and functional to the sculptural and gorgeous. This time, we're looking at the Rayfield Caliber. You'll notice that these cars, there are two you can own, the white and gold one which you can buy, and the black one which you can find if you're lucky. You'll notice that from the outside, they appear to have no windows. This is because they have a technology called Crystal Dome, which I should have talked about when I reviewed the Javelina. Instead of windows, these cars have armoured panels on the inside of which a realistic view of the outside world is projected. The interior of the black car is mostly off-white with green and gold highlights. I find it tasteful. The interior of the white and gold car, not so much. This looks to me tacky, garish. The car I drive in real life, I could have had with a red leather interior. I don't. I have it with a black leather interior. It just... It seems to me more restful. From the outside, however, this car is very smart in an attention-seeking sort of way. Again, I prefer the much more subtle paintwork of the black car. The two cars drive, handle, perform identically. So there's no point in taking them both up the climb. And I shall take the black one just because I like it better. The first thing to notice is the engine sound. It's gorgeous. An eerie moan rising to an eldritch shriek under acceleration and spitting like an angry cat when gear changes. The second thing to notice is the brutal acceleration. You will have seen the video of an idiot losing control of a Ferrari while crossing a bridge in central London. This car drives like that. It is just ludicrously too powerful for anyone but a very skilled driver. And if you don't treat it with respect, it will bite you. I'm probably quicker up this climb in the comical Mai Mai, or the sturdy little mule, than in the sleek and powerful caliber. I'm sure a skilled driver could slide it round these turns as I can slide the much more forgiving Javelina. The chassis is actually very good, but I can't. Nevertheless, by being careful, I am getting up to by reasonably. Notice the huge dirigible flying gently overhead. You see these very often. The turn at the top is made separately up on and once on the greater roads I can let it rip. The turn onto the lakeside straight coming to. is made sure-footedly, and on this straight, 
we are hit a peak of just under 180 miles an hour. So that's the caliber. I do urge you to seek out the black one. It's challenging, but enormous fun to drive, and it will win you the road races. Oh yes. I said there would be a blooper reel. Enjoy! <laughs>